Hello and welcome to another Tip Tuesday. My name is Adam Wehmer. I am going to take you through some report options today. One of my favorite report options called Parameters. It's very useful for um, drop downs. I'm going to show you an example of that, how to search with drop downs that might reference different information. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set a date with a little calc tab function. And again, once you start working in calc tab, you can then come up with an unlimited amount of uses of things there that might be beneficial to you. Uh, so let's just dig into the report, get started. I'm going to take you through it. So let me launch an example report here. I haven't really added anything to it. Um, once we get in there, we're going to start. If you're familiar with IndieSoft, you're familiar with our um, uh, event statuses, the tracking status every item is in. And if you worked in Workflow Config at all, you know there's an abbreviation. And with that abbreviation, if you were trying to search by it, your users probably don't know that. They know checked out, not out or um, awaiting calibration not AWT Cal. So what I'm going to show you is how to make that search available for you, um, which again you can use this for anything where you need to reference multiple items. So to get started I'm going to come in here to parameters, I'm going to add a new one and let's call it event status. So what you'll see here in the event status is I have some properties down here basically it references a data pipeline. Where is this value coming from? So what I need to do is come in here and add a data pipeline. So I'm going to go to File and New. I like to do Query Designer because I, I kind of know what table I'm looking for. And honestly for me, I'm the type of guy who just knows the table names, um, probably because I've been here a minute and it just lives in my head. But we also have the common names you can search by as well. So I'm just looking for event status basically. Um, right here, we're going to get that added. And I want two fields. I want the label and the abbreviation. And that's really it. I just need to have a tree of my tracking statuses. So then I can come in here and on this parameter, I can now choose to expand the data pipeline to the tracking statuses. Now what's cool here is you see there's a name field and a value field. So what I actually want to have showing is the label. But what it's really pulling is the abbreviation. So when you search, it'll search appropriately based on the abbreviation, not the long form. So now if I come in here to preview, and I, oh, we don't have any auto search set up on this report. Let me do that real quick so you can see it. We're going to come in here and add in the tracking status. I'm going to set it to auto search. And the key thing is to link that, and I should have gone here first, is add that parameter, which now means that when I search by this field, the values present will be this parameter. So let me hit OK here. And when I preview, when I search, once it finishes loading, there we go search data. Now you'll see show all data where tracking status is equal to the list of statuses that I have in my system. And you could do this for any lookup field that you have. Any any add edit list where you might want to clarify something. Like let's say you had employee records and you want to search by employee records and a drop down selection of unique employee fields uh, that you have some sp specific data in. Search where everyone's custom text 10 is equal to true or some value like that. You could do that same concept. That's the beauty of of being able to hook this parameter up to a data tree where I can control everything and then still have my lookups distinct fields. What the actual value might be, what I want it to say. Um, so that's one way of adding parameters. Another one I'm going to add in here is let's say I want this search to always pull in based on today's date. I just want it to automatically load that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new parameter again. I'm going to go event date. Well, let's, let's just call it today's date. So I have a, a parameter of today's date. Let's come into my search and let's go see if we have anything here for the scheduled due date. Maybe let's search on that. Okay. So where it equals to, uh, let's do equal or greater than. I don't know if the database has any results. So now you'll see I have a new parameter available, today's date. I'll put it in the auto search here. Um, so how's it going to pull in today's date? Uh, I could go type it in. What is the day? 0208 2020. I could, but let's say I'd actually done that on the first. 
How's it going to change? What we could do is we can do this on the calc tab to dynamically control and change this. So let me come over here and we will come to the report and we will then find an early trigger point. If you're not familiar with the calc tab, there's some other Tip Tuesday videos that show you how to use this. Um, we want to do it before auto search dialog create. Auto search dialog is that window that shows you these choices. So I'm going to create a variable. Let's call it uh, S date. And what I will do is I'm going to assign S date um, format date time. And this is stuff that you, you know, the more you play with the objects and language over on the right hand side here, you'll get more familiar with. But I want this to be month, day, year, year, year. And I'm going to use the current date. So this function basically says, give me the date today and now format for a string as S date. And then I can go reports.parameter. And I'm going to show, I think I named it today's date. That's the name of the parameter. And is equal to S date. And let's see what I've typed wrong. No errors. Well, let's hope it works. Uh, so <laughs> let's take a look here at the preview. And I can search. And now you see the due date is less than or equal to today's date. And it will always launch the report now with today's date. You now, if you remember when I initially set up this value here, I said, well, let's make it the first doesn't care what value is there anymore because the calc tab is always controlling it. So whenever I search, when this report gets launched, it's going to go ahead and put today's date in. So if you're looking for items that are due between a certain time or later than a certain time, again, you can control multiple fields this way. You can create multiple parameters. Um, this is just a base to work off of, and you can build some cool stuff out from there. I think the tracking status thing is kind of fun. I think the due date's kind of fun, but I'm sure you'll come up with some great uses. If you have any questions or issues, um, please reach out to support, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and probably something else important on YouTube, but thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.